coming. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> Cheer up, Joe boy. Good morning, son. Morning. Yeah. Here's your papers. Financial Times. Thank you. Exchange of mark. Yeah. <laughs> I'll look up the closing prices on the Tokyo Stock Exchange at the breakfast table. Yeah, you please yourself, son. Thank you. <laughs> Raquel, cup of tea, love. You wake, Raquel. I'll leave it outside for you, love. Get back in time. Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> confusion, baller. Confusion. Something smells nice out in the kitchen, Albert. Yeah, I'd just do myself some egg and bacon, son. Uh, what do you want for breakfast? Something healthy or something nice? <laughs> <laughs> yes, do us a fry up, will you? But look lively, because I don't want Rack Elsie. She's into this high fibre cobblers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Oh, have you managed to have a talk with young Rodney yet? Yeah, what about? What do you mean, what about? He left his wife and come back to live here. Well, he's a full-grown adult, isn't he? What am I supposed to do? Well, I don't know. You've got to appeal to his common sense. Oh, yeah. And then after lunch, I'll go out and find Shergar. <laughs> <laughs> this is no laughing matter. Cassandra's got to live in a foreign country. No, she ain't. She's gone to Spain. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> She's only gone there for a week. Her and her mum have gone to get away from it all at the family villa. Are you family villa? Here. I'm family now, and I, eh? I could do with a break. I'm having a drink with Cassandra's dad tonight. I'll have a word with him. Oh, he's <laughs> down a pub every night, boozing. Who's that? Cassandra's dad? I'm talking about Rodney. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, because uh, Alan, he's teetotal, is. Going out for a drink with him is like going on a pub crawl with Betty Ford. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't worry about Rodney. He's just a bit confused at the moment, that's all. Yeah, I was a bit confused when he came in the other night. Confused as a newt. <laughs> <laughs> Still, he's making a bit of effort. Look, he made his bed before he went to work. Uh, yeah, uh, hang about. Uh, Albert, just a minute. <clears throat> Look, uh, the thing is, you see, that uh, Rodney did not sleep on the settee last night. Oh? No. Where did he sleep then? <clears throat> well, he, uh... He slept in his old room. Oh, yeah. I thought Raquel slept in there. No. Where'd she sleep then? <laughs> I don't believe him. <clears throat> she slept somewhere else. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Where? No. <laughs> Listen, could you raise your voice just one more decibel? Then they'll be able to hear you in the doodoin. <laughs> you mean she slept with you then? Yes. All right, yes. Yes, she did. But listen, don't you go and say nothing to her about it. Why, don't she know? <laughs> of course she knows. It's just that I don't want her to be embarrassed, that's all. I wonder why you looked a bit chirpy. <laughs> Limey, that laugh of yours. Sounds like someone trying to push start a larder. <laughs> Here, you have my breakfast. Ooh. Build your strength up. Oh. Uh, I'll cook myself another one. Good. Bless you, Uncle. Oh, you're a lifesaver, I tell you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Lovely jubbly. Mm. Mm. Morning. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, morning, love. Nice to see you back on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, good evening. Can I speak to Mr Lane, please? Thank you. Should we just forget about the satellite dish, watch the ordinary telly? Yeah, it's having news, don't I? There might be some report about the ecological destruction of our planet. Anything to cheer me up? <laughs> ah, Bronco, hello. How are you, son? Still boy. Oh, all right, listen, listen to me. Now, tell me something. I want to know, where did you get that satellite dish from? <laughs> Sorry? What are you apologising for? It's all right, all right, all right, don't worry. All right, so you was desperate and you had a funny turn. Yeah, I can understand that. I've had Rodney living back with us. <laughs> yeah. You what? Of course I know what it is. It's a satellite receiver dish, isn't it? Hey? What do you mean that's what you thought? Hm. Bronco, why are you crying? <laughs> what is it then? 
Where did you get it from? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, hell's bloody bells. <laughs> so, where did he get it from? He didn't say. <laughs> Del? What? Come and have a look. What? What is it? Turn it up. Turn it up. The radar transmitter dish, similar to the one shown here, was stolen from the end of Gatwick Airport's main runway <laughs> during the early hours of yesterday morning. The theft brought Gatwick Airport to a complete standstill. It has caused chaos throughout Europe and left thousands of returning holidaymakers stranded. <laughs> the, the Prime Minister and the Who caused that? <laughs> you brought Europe, a whole continent, to a standstill. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> That's why Cassandra's plane had to land in Manchester. That's why she's stuck up there instead of being in my honeymoon bed. That is why my marriage is all but bloody over. Oh, Rodney, you know, haven't you ever made a mistake? I mean, you thought it was a satellite aerial dish and all, didn't you? Don't you include you, me in no, this? No, look, I'll, listen, come, look, I'll show it to you. It looks like one, doesn't it? Look, just come and have a... Look, there it is, look. Don't, all right, all right, don't worry, look, I'll, I'll take it back first thing in the morning. And then I... Made it up. You Me mean and Cassie, we're back together. Well oh. done, brother. Yeah, oh. great. Oh, there's, there's a mini cab outside for somebody. Yeah, uh, that'll be for your ex fiance, Derek. <laughs> Get her out, will you? All right, Mike, give us a minute. Will you give me a minute? Oh, it's Del's not another old fiance, is yeah, he? I am sorry, Rodney. I was very young at the time. Hey, Ian, Cassandra's not out there in a van, is she? No, no, she's gone around to her mum and dad's place to pick something up. I'll just come around and tell you. I won't be home tonight. No, what you mean is, Roddy, what you mean is you will be home tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah my real home, mate. That's right. Well, um, there's your key. Oh, right, Jock. And thanks for having me. No, Rodney, come on. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Cassandra didn't ask to meet me, did she? No. I lied. You're a conniving git, ain't you? <laughs> it worked, though, didn't it? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. mm. I've just seen Raquel and Albert getting off the bus. Raquel? Raquel's coming in here? Yes. Oh, God, she can't see me with that true, do you know how jealous she gets? Oh, Del. Oh, look out. Del. Yes. <laughs> Tell me everything that's been happening, then. Well, I... Well, <laughs> well I'd love to, sweetheart, but your cab has just arrived. Oh, oh look, look, Del. Mm. Why don't you come back to my place and we can talk about old times? <laughs> 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 no, I'd love to, sweetheart. I'd love to. But you see, I've got to stay here and talk right. some business with these gentlemen, you see. Oh. Rodney, will you escort this lady to her cab? Yes, yeah. so There right. you go. I'll see you then, Jail. Right, sweetheart. Here, Do you come in this pub often, then? No, no, no. I've never been in here before in my life, have I, Mike? That's right. Bye <laughs> <laughs> bye, then, Bye bye, bye, -bye sweetheart. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. It's my car. car. Yes, it's it's a red car. car. Yes, it's a red car. Yes, it's lovely. Stand up, Rodney. I'll stay with you. You're all right. You'll yeah. be all right. Mate, you oh, know the door. Yes. Oh, then I've got. Just. Oh, this is not. Oh, 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 Cass, unlock the door. Cass! Cass, we gotta talk. Look, Cass, that bird was nothing to do with me. She was some old sort Del was engaged two years ago. Well, Cass, at least let's talk. Cassie! Cass. <laughs> Did you say this thing was a tour? That's right, it's a nine-week tour of the country. Oh, well, I didn't know that, did I? I mean, I didn't know that. 
I thought it was like, you know, a play that you put on local and... Oh, I see that now. Oh, that's, that's it, is it? Right, eh? The lure of the big theatres. The applause, the applause, the show must go on and all that. We're not appearing in theatres. If you're not appearing in theatres, then where are you appearing? Schools. Schools? Yes, schools. It's a co-project between the Education and the Arts Councils. We're supposed to take Shakespeare to the inner cities. Imagine what it might have done for me. Yeah. Could have ended up being a dinner lady. <laughs> <laughs> Don't become like all the others, Del. Putting down every little dream I have. I'm not trying to put your dreams down, sweetheart. You know, I never do that. It's just that... Uh, I don't want you to leave me. I'm frightened you might not come back. I'm not going anywhere, Del. I'm turning the offer down. Well, you can't do that, sweetheart. You can't do that. No, this is, you know, this is a golden opportunity, this. Just don't worry about me. I'm just, you know, I'm just being a bit selfish, that's all. I can't do that to her, Del. Why not? Because I've read the play again and again, and at no point does Shakespeare mention that Rosalind is pregnant. It's always poetic license, isn't there? <laughs> You say you was pregnant? I've done all the tests and everything. It's certain. Blimey. Are you angry? Angry. I'm gonna have a party, we're gonna have a party, and we're gonna have fireworks, the biggest fireworks, and we're gonna celebrate. No, what's all the fuss about? What's happening? Calm down, calm down, you two. Just calm down. I'm <laughs> listening now. I'm gonna answer one simple question, right? How many people do you see standing there? <laughs> one. No. I see two. <laughs> Well, you know what this means, don't you, Albert? No. Either Raquel's pregnant, or Dill's pissed. <laughs> we are proud to present this evening two young British stars whose names may not be familiar to you. However, if you was a resident in a certain town in Nevada, USA, their names would be on the tips of your tongues. <laughs> because they have just finished a sellout season with Barry Manilow. <laughs> The Desert Inn, Las Vegas. Oh. How about that, hey? You look good there, Harvey. Where did you get all that crap We're from? Of <laughs> all the venues... What a stupid question. <laughs> they have chosen the Starlight Rooms in Peckham. Oh. How about that, hey? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome, please, for Raquel and Tony! Oh.
See you later. Mm. You bastard. You just walked out and left us. What else could I do? I couldn't very well go up to Eugene's table and say, ha ha, that was all right, different, wasn't it, eh? <laughs> Did you finish the performance? Oh, yes, Derek. We saw it through to the death. Mm -hmm. Please release me. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> And the green, green grass of home. <laughs> and that was followed by a medley of walk and roll. <laughs> that is not funny, Wadney. Rodney. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I haven't laughed so much since he got his beard in the food mix. <laughs> <laughs> if that's Eugene. You tell him, tell him I've gone to get the hammer and nails. Who's there? Can I speak to Mr. Potter? <laughs> Tony, let him in. I've come for me money. It's all right, all right. Not now, son, right? I'm up to me eyes in it. Come back tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. <laughs> I want me money now. I did the performance, didn't I? I did the repertoire that you, you insisted on. Yeah, but I didn't know that you couldn't pronounce your R's, did I? What does that matter? Matters quite a lot when you're singing songs with R's in. <laughs> but I don't sing songs with R's in. And if a song has got an R in it, well, I'll change the lyrics. Then why didn't you change the lyrics tonight? <laughs> How can I change the lyrics to crying? <laughs> Bloody song's called crying. <laughs> Tony and I did everything you asked us to do, Del, so pay the man his money. And while we're at it, you owe me money as well. Yeah, it's all right, sweetheart. All right, we'll talk about that tomorrow, eh? Listen, Trotter, you're not cheating me. Crew the tail a plat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's all right for me to be cheated, though, isn't it, eh? And who's cheated you? <laughs> him, him, he's cheated me. He did. Do you know what he did? He charged me £1.40 for bus fares, he did. And it's only when I was putting my dicky bow on that I realised he got a bus pass. <laughs> and anyway, I don't suppose the Starlight Room's going to pay me anything after tonight's disaster. God, I'm going to be well out of pocket, me. We signed a contract. Oh, yes, I know, I know. But my brother drew up that contract and he put in a get-out clause. Didn't you, Rodney? No. I... <laughs> and why didn't you? Because you didn't tell me to. 
And I ain't a lawyer. I sweep up and make the tea. You remember? <laughs> and you owe me 50 quid. Yep. Oh, all right, all right. It's too brutal. There you are. Run yours. Hmm. We'll talk about this tomorrow. All right, anything you say, Rodney, all right. You know what you've got, don't you? What? Derek. What? An ism. Ism? <laughs> it is a mine got an ism, have I, Rodney? <laughs> well, there's a lot of crap in a garage. <laughs> You're not alone in your prejudice. We got sexism, racism, heightism, and ageism. Well, I, I'm a victim of pronunciationism. <laughs> I've got a good voice. I've got good style. I've got perfect tone. But just because I've pronounced my O's differently from the rest of you, <coughs> I can never be a star. And just because of my pronunciation, you've dumped me. But what about me? Hey, I got lumbered with a star whose props come from Lillian Skinner's Crown Toppers and Madison's. 